Assalamu alaikum students and uh, welcome to Alama Iqbal Open University series of MBA programs, uh, the subject for which is Management Information System. Students, in the last unit, we studied e-commerce and internet and the subject expert with me, I have Mr. Tanveer Ansari. Welcome, sir. Thank Your you. host, Komal Tariq, I'm with you. And in today's unit, we're going to study enterprise collaboration and information system for business operations. So, sir, please to start off with. Yeah. Uh, students will be discussing what uh, enterprise collaboration system is and how it is used to enhance your business and inform information. All right. So en enterprise collaboration system is a cross-function information system that helps in communication and coordination and collaboration. Okay. And the communication is by sharing information mm -hmm. and coordination is by sharing r resources of each other like you can access either each other's computers okay. and access information directly from there. And collaboration means working on joint projects and you can monitor each other's uh, work in progress. All right, so there's, uh, there are three C's involved, communication, coordination, and collaboration. So moving further. Yeah, and the software that is used for uh, enterprise collaboration is called a groupware. Okay. So groupware is a technology designed to facilitate the work of groups. Okay, okay. So th there are two categories of groupware, the synchronous mm -hmm. and asynchronous. Okay. Synchronous means real time. Okay. Uh, that means simultaneously two persons are doing something and they can monitor each other. Okay. And the second is co-located or non-co-located. Co-located okay. means they are at the same place and non-co-located means they are at different places. Okay. So they can be either co-located or they can be at different places. At different not places, yes. Located. Okay. And the advantage of group wears are faster and more persuasive communication and they communicate a, at unreachable places like for example one team member is maybe uh, uh, in, some other city. in some other city, in exactly. some other country. So you can communicate with each other. Yes, true. And then cut down on travel costs, that is quite obvious that exactly. you don't have to go there and come discuss with them. Then bring to together multiple expertise. Exactly. Again, students, if uh, if an expert is sitting in China, maybe, and the other one is sitting in America, in America, they can we discuss can bring them together. Yes. Okay. And then they can bring together many people face to face. Like we just discussed. Yes, like through video conferencing. Exactly. And then anonymous interchanges. Yes, this is very, this is very interesting. Anonymous interchanges. Like for example, you can ask people's uh, feedback. Okay. And without disclosing your identity, you mm. can give a candid uh, feedback. Feedback, true. So that is, that is very helpful in enhancing a business. And obviously, it all boils down to that you are saving time and cost. Exactly, which is the main crux for the internet when yes. we talk about it. Uh, sir, there is a question in my mind. Uh, yeah. What are collaborative tools or management tools for it? Like we were discussing the group peers, so there are other tools that help in uh, co communication coordination through the internet. Okay. And these are called electronic communication tools. Okay. And then there are electronic conferencing tools. Mm -hmm. And then there are collaborative work management tools. Okay. So in electronic uh, communication tools, we have emails, mm -hmm. then we have uh, voicemails, web publishing, and then bulletin boards and VOIP, uh, voice over internet. Like we discussed in the previous unit that there are internet telephones. Exactly. Like uh, Skype or Exactly. Other things. There are software such Software's. as Skype, etc. And then there are electronic conferencing tools like data and voice conferencing, mm -hmm. and then video conferencing. Exactly. And, and then there are chat systems and chats webinars. webinars. Very, very famous ones. And then there are collaborative work management tools like calendaring and scheduling. Exactly. Like we d I think we discussed in the previous unit that there is a project management tools that you can uh, prog uh, you can monitor each other's progress. Okay. Even if the project is being carried out in some other in city. In some other city, true. So you don't have to be physically present Physical all the time all over the there. Time. So now coming to my next question, what are the various types of business information systems? Please tell us. There are also information systems. These are being uh, these are being used for the in enterprise collaboration. Okay. Okay. So there are cross-function information system like ERP and SAP. Okay. This cross-function information system are designed to integrate the activities of the entire business process. Okay. By entire business process means that uh, there are so many things being carried out in one business, but they are integrated in one software. And like, they are like called cross-departmental because of having cross-departmental boundaries as like well. Like exactly, like in ERP, we have uh, we can integrate with finance, we can integrate with personnel, we okay. can integrate with uh, uh, sales, purchase, anything. Okay, so it's a purely business-based system. 
Yes, like in this, in this diagram, this yes. ERP, through ERP systems, we, we can communicate the finance and accounting. Hmm. Uh, even in one application, there are so many screens, and just by changing a screen, hmm. you can go to uh, multiple, uh, multiple databases, multiple applications, and you can access each other's databases. Okay, that's great. Sir, so my next question is, what is basically enterprise application integration? Please tell us. Okay, th this is a little bit different from ERP. Okay. In ERP, within one uh, application, that's ERP itself, you have uh, databases of uh, many applications, like you have database of accounting, you have database of sales and marketing, blah, blah, okay? True. But in enterprise application integration, these, these are dif different applications, mm -hmm. uh, but through one software that we call middleware, you can access these applications. Okay, okay. But, and there are benefits of having ERP and there are advantages of having enterprise application system, like for example, in ERP it is very difficult to implement it because it is very difficult to uh, what we call in our technical term tailoring that particular application according to one organization's needs. Okay. And then the accessing different applications sitting in on one screen is a bit tedious. Okay. So but you mean to say in, in layman's language that one is a little more complicated and complicated. this one is a little simpler. It is simpler okay. because it, this is a middleware through mm -hmm. which you can access different applications. True. Uh, different separate applications, okay. not integrated in uh, one like ERP. Mm -hmm. And there's a diagram, I believe, to demonstrate. Yes, it this is the EI portal mm -hmm. through which you can access different applications like accounting. Then you have customer sales. relationship management, services tax, employees management, sales. True. And the next one is marketing information system, sir. Please. Yeah, this is very complicated and very huge system. Okay. Like in marketing information system provides information technologies. Mm -hmm that support major components of the, of the marketing, marketing function. function. And there are so many components of marketing Definitely. function, like interactive marketing we discussed in our previous unit, then customer relationship management. This is a new field that has evolved uh, over a period of time. Okay. This customer relationship means, uh, uh, because, uh, because of the internet, it is very easy to get customers, and it is simultaneously, it is very easy to lose customers. Okay. Because uh, sitting on one internet, uh, your customer has the option to access various products of the same type. True. So and it c he can compare the exactly. products. So it is very easy. And since the feedback is coming so simultaneously, so, simultaneously, so yeah. uh, instantaneously, that if the person is not working on the quality of it, he'll instantly lose the customer. Exactly, right. And in market information system, we have sales management and we can monitor uh, uh, which particular salesman is doing how. Okay, great. And the when, uh, marketing then research, market research and, and forecasting. forecasting. You can see your product is selling, uh, how your product is selling, in which area of the city. True. Okay. And, and you can also monitor the marketing trends. Marketing what, trends. What are the things that are being followed. So advertising and management, which is very simple very and very simple. common. You have to be very aware and you have to be well equipped with the latest advertising techniques that are very important for your business. So and manufacturing information yes, system. Yes, and I think this is very interesting, this manufacturing, that, and I think this is the uh, system that is very extensively used and making full use of the information technology. Okay. Because it has a CIM, that is Computer Integrated Manufacturing. Okay. And in CIM, you have CAE, like uh, Computer Aided Engineering. All right. You can design your product on the computer, and you can see uh, uh, its different aspects. And with the click of the mouse, you can altogether change the design True. and see how it affects. Instead of drawing it, instead of drawing from it, the and, beginning. and, and then there is computer aided drawing as well, which computer is also now on the computer. Yes, so it's so very easy for you to draw any sort of architectural uh, equipment or anything that you need to draw now has to be drawn on the computer, and it's simpler with one click or two one clicks. Click. Even you have uh, these uh, flight simulators. Mm -hmm. uh, you, it is just like you are sitting in a cockpit and you are flying the, uh, the aeroplane. And ex it exactly behaves, even the uh, your uh, simulator moves like okay. uh, aeroplane moves. Oh, true. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing is human resource information system. So please. In human resource information system, it is designed to support planning to meet your employees' requirements. Okay. F first of all, to start with, you can uh, plan uh, how much employees you need with the expansion of your business, how much employees you need for the say next five years or next ten years, 
And in what uh, in uh, what field you need employees, and True. what should be their uh, qualifications, mm -hmm. what should be the, their remunerations, your, their salaries and exactly. benefits, and then their performance appraisals, then their training, yes. everything is involved in it. Controlling all the personnel and the policies related to them, and everything that comes in under the category of human resources. Human resources and is then now being controlled on it. Their tra training plans Trainings, and exactly. their recruitment plans and everything. Now, students, an interesting thing is that with the advent of information technology, even the counts can be done on the computers. There are uh, certain softwares, Peachtree, for example, Peachtree. is one, which are being used for the accounting purposes. Uh, our expert will tell us in detail. In fact, this accounting s information system is the uh, first system mm -hmm. for that the computer was invented. Okay. Because people were tired of uh, calculating salaries every month, mm. all over, same thing all over again. Time and time again. Exactly. So, accounting system it was the first system uh, that was used on the computers. Okay. But it has, uh, over the period of time and over the evolvement of new technologies, it has changed tremendously. Okay. Like uh, through accounting information system, you can do order processing. Mm -hmm. You can take orders online and okay. you can process them and you can ship them. And at the same time, you can. Uh, maintain your inventory mm -hmm. that uh, and you can be, uh, inform your uh, customers like for example you must have received letters from your bank I informing that this is your balance on such and such date exactly true. and it, it has a, uh, a disclaimer at the bottom that this is computer generated letter it needs no signatures exactly very true so this is all about in the accounting another information in, system uh, another important information is that error and omissions are, are accepted, accepted. <laughs> because it is computer generated not a human uh, made thing. and then payrolls are generated through co computers then general ledgers are maintained and, and in earlier times there used to be this these thick ledgers oh, yes. which people used to maintain so now everything is on the computer then there is also the term called transaction processing systems. Yes, uh, th this is a bit of a legacy system because in, uh, it is still being used, but it, it has, uh, like I told you, it, the change of technology, it has changed a lot. Mm -hmm. In the older times with the mainframes, it used to be only batch processing. Okay. Like in, in computer, in a, uh, in a bank, they used to collect all the vo day's voucher and mm -hmm. at the uh, end of the day or in the evening, they would sit together and enter the watcher in the computer and only the next day the c computer could show you the actual balances. Okay. Uh, but uh, now uh, with the online transaction processing system, the m moment you withdraw your uh, amount. Uh, amount from the uh, through ATM or through check, mm -hmm. immediately your balance is updated. Exactly. And because of that, this uh, data maintenance is very has exactly. become very very, uh, very essential, and very exactly. crucial. Because if your data is uh, if your database is not maintained, maybe you can withdraw your amount twice, even if the balance is not there. True. And and you have you must have observed that sometimes the ATMs are out of order, or there is uh, some sort of uh, error that comes. So at times people True. do take advantage yes. of that situation True. as well. But that's but obviously one. But in a at this point, I would like to. Uh, Make one thing clear: people, uh, some people get confused. The difference between online and real time. Mm -hmm. uh, real time means the moment you withdraw something or you add something in your uh, in, in in your account, mm -hmm. it is immediately immediately updated. True. But in online means your uh, bag, your uh, branch or mm -hmm. branch may be online, but they may not be carrying out processing at the same time. Okay. So okay. that is, uh, if you are carrying out the process, uh, carrying out the transaction at the same time, that is real time. Mm -hmm. But online means you don't have to go there and you don't have to collect your, uh, you don't have to go there to take your check, uh, to take your cash. Mm -hmm. That means online. Okay. Okay. You can withdraw your amount uh, from anywhere in the city. Through online banking. Through online banking. True. Then there is financial information systems. Please sir, tell us what it is. F financial information system basically is a, uh, is a bit different from accounting. Accounting means you deal with the each and every transaction. Okay. But in financial information system, you uh, deal with overall finances of the company. Okay. Like from where the cash is coming and how it is to be. Invested. invested and okay. where to be invested, where you get the maximum profit. True. That is what we call capital budgeting. Okay. And you can see, or you can uh, do financial forecasting 
that how much uh, in how much uh, profit will be earning next year mm -hmm. and how it should be distributed among the shareholders true and then financial forecasting obviously involves the things that uh, you might be getting any sort of losses as well or according to the profits how you're going to do the next investment all the Correct. things involved in Correct. the next thing is customer relation management and students you need to be very careful because because it is a very important part of uh, management information system please tell yes, us yes customer relationship management has uh, it's a new field uh, like uh, we just discussed that yes. uh, with the admin with the uh, invention of the uh, internet internet everything is available on the internet and sitting in your comfort of your house you can uh, you can ju judge the prices of the same product but different manufacturers exactly different brands so it has become very crucial to uh, maintain your customers true so through uh, customer relationship management you can acquire new customers mm -hmm. like uh, uh, it through internet purchasing you can have uh, your customers even other cities other countries like through Amazon, you can purchase book from here. Amazon okay. is uh, in, in America. America. So that means they, they are acquiring new customers exactly. worldwide. And also they, they can enhance the uh, services. Mm -hmm. Like you can place uh, the orders uh, s from your house and you can get the product sitting in your house. Exactly. And then and there are uh, special pricing offers as well. Uh, for example, they say for the students in Asia, we are offering this, 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 and this is only for the people living in Asia. Right. So these kind of things are also introduced to encourage their customers to follow their brand more and more. Correct. And it, is, it has become a bit, uh, little bit difficult to retain your old customers. Exactly. Because of the choices because that the, the internet is providing. And then ERP. Like e ERP we have discussed earlier, mm -hmm. And ERP serves as a cross-function enterprise backbone that integrates and autom automates many internal business processes. Okay. And the benefits of the ERP are quality and efficiency. As we discussed earlier. As we discussed and decreases decrease cost. Decrease cost because you don't have to purchase many applications. Exactly. But if you purchase many applications, then you'll have to integrate them through enterprise application integration like we studied earlier. Earlier. True. But in ERP, it, uh, you are decreasing costs and the decision support is very easy because all the, all the decisions are on one, in one place. Mm. Now students, there is this thing which you must have heard in management which is called supply chain management. We have studied many chains in business management. Let us see what is supply chain management. Sir, please tell us. Yeah, this is a very interesting subject. It, it, uses, it is being used in manufacturing companies. Supply chain starts from the uh, suppliers of the raw material. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, when the raw material gives you, when the when you get the raw material, how you manufacture the how product. you manufacture the product and optimum use of the raw material so that True. is, it is not wasted. Mm -hmm. And from when the, when once the product has been manufactured, you give it to distributors and ultimately it goes to the, the customers. customers. So and this and your business partners as well. And your business partners as well. So this whole process is called supply chain exactly. management. It's a whole chain that whole we're chain. Following. And it also involves the uh, your inventory level and different uh, warehouses. And your mind, your supplier is not one. Maybe there are many, many things. Suppliers. Like when you man you are manufacturing a car, your uh, tire supplier is some uh, exactly. uh, some other company. Your windscreen supplier is some other company. Screws are coming from Screws somewhere else. From, yes, and plastic uh, plastic material like mud guards and bumpers are coming uh, from somewhere some else. Some other supplier. Okay, students. Now there are certain benefits of supply chain management which we just studied. Uh, most important advantage is the planning. It's very easy for you to plan according to it. And then there's execution. So please tell us in detail what is planning and execution. Yeah. A proper planning can help in many ways. Like in collaborative demand and supply planning, mm -hmm. means that if, if you have the raw material at hand in ample quantity, then there will be no break, uh, there will be no so pauses and breaks in the manufacturing. Okay. So and your suppliers can be not more than, it can only be more than one as well. Yes. And similarly in the execution, the material management is very important. Okay. That you have all the things at hand before you start manufacturing. True. But you shouldn't have to accumulated too much of the inventory. Okay. Because it has uh, its own demerits. Okay. And to overcome that problem, Japan started JIT, that's called just-in-time inventory. Okay. And well, the, it's a lengthy discussion. <laughs> we can have it later. But it is the, very advantageous. Yes, very advantageous. And then we can have collaborative manufacturing. The collaborative manufacturing means that different parts of the same thing are being manufactured at different places. True. 
and you can you just assemble them here. Mm -hmm. That is also uh, uh, one of the benefits of supply, supply chain, chain management. management. With the proper supply, uh, you can have this. Otherwise, it won't be possible. Okay. And then uh, supply chain event management mm -hmm. means maybe there are some uh, flaws and there are some gaps in the supply. Okay. So that will interrupt your manufacturing. Okay. So it should, these flaws and uh, gaps should be reported. Okay. And they should be removed. So you get to have an instantaneous response about it's, it. Uh, yes. Okay. That, that is uh, event management. True. Then supply chain performance management means that uh, overall the per, uh, performance, performance of these steps will uh, ultimately be will be benefit for the okay. organization. For the organization. So students, that's it for today's uh, uh, unit, today's episode rather I'd say. And uh, a quick recap says that we studied enterprise collaboration systems, groupware, middleware and various information systems. So that is it from today's unit. Uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah.